let's talk about multiplanar imaging. Multiplanar means to simultaneously visualize multiple planes from a volume data set. So by obtaining a volume acquisition of the uterus, we are able to manipulate that data at any time, which is how we get that maximum information from our scans. Now, specifically for our GYN studies, this is so helpful in diagnosing uterine malformations, endometrial disorders, fibroids, IUD locations, and even ovarian pathology. For our GYN studies, we want to evaluate that uterus in a sagittal, transverse, and a coronal plane. Typically, we cannot evaluate that coronal plane of the uterus unless we have acquired the volume of the uterus. So as we all know, we need an optimal two-dimensional image. Let me share with you my tips on how to get that good coronal image. We want to evaluate the uterus in its entirety, so from one side to the other. So we want you to open up that sweep angle so that you can obtain the entire uterus in one uniform sweep. That uterus is a stable organ, so make sure that you are bumping the quality really high to give you the best image. So let's take a look at this multiplanar image here. Here in our A plane, you can see that that endometrium is very flat or perpendicular to the angle of incination. And you can see there's a little green part right here, which indicates this is our active plane. In this one, you can see that this is our B plane or our transverse of the uterus. And then here you can see our coronal plane. When we are talking about multiplanar imaging, it's all about the reference dot. So the reference dot in image A is going to correlate with this reference dot in image B, which correlates to this reference dot in our coronal plane. So here we have our acquired image of a sagittal uterus. The endometrium is flat or as straight as we can possibly get it, which makes it perpendicular to the angle of incination. Next is our image of a transverse uterus, which would be in our B plane image. The trick with good coronal imaging is that you want the transverse uterus to also be as straight as possible. So if in your transverse image, the endometrium is not flat or parallel, you will not obtain that ideal coronal image. So now that you've opened up your volume angle, increased your quality, we have obtained our uterus in a sagittal plane. Here's our transverse plane and here's our coronal view. The uterus and endometrium are straight, perpendicular to the angle of incination. So let's optimize our B image here. So we are going to select the B plane and using the Z axis, we are going to rotate the transverse uterus so the endometrium is as straight as possible. Using the trackball, we are going to walk that reference dot into the middle of the endometrium here. So now our sagittal and transverse images are optimized. Let's work on the coronal plane. We will select our C plane. We'll move it into a single image. Using that Z technique or Z axis, we are going to stand the endometrium upright. We can zoom out, we can move our trackball so that we can see the uterus in its entirety. Now you can use your X, Y, and Z axis to fine tune your image. Here we can see all the way from the cervix through the endometrium and all the borders of the myometrium. This part here would be the subserosal layer surrounding the uterus. I personally will always add VCI to my endometrial imaging. Volume contrast imaging will add contrast to that organ and also slice thickness. VCI is extremely helpful when you have uterine anomalies or fibroids.